optics is really uh, all around us and what we do here is we study the optical properties of semiconductors. Uh, things like light emitting diodes, laser diodes, optical modulators, solar cells, these are all semiconductors that uh, are used for their optical properties. Specifically what we study is are the 3-5 semiconductors. These are things like gallium, arsenide, indium, phosphide and so on. These are materials that uh, emit light. A lot of other semiconductors are very important electronic materials but they don't emit light. Now these materials are grown by laboratories outside of UNSW. We collaborate with people at other Australian and international universities and we do the optical work and they do the semiconductor growth. What we would like to do is somehow integrate optics and electronics on the same chip and that would be silica. So this is really the goal of the work uh, that we do here. It turns out that if you electrochemically etch silicon, you make it into a porous material, all of a sudden it will emit light. So these, uh, uh, this is really the, the work that uh, my students and I are doing here. We run here at the school a coursework program, uh, specifically on optoelectronics and photonics. Uh, this is a coursework only program where students do a number of courses and they can earn a master's in optoelectronics and photonics. They basically learn about optical fibers, uh, light sources, uh, detectors and so on. If you do it full time it's a one year project or if you do it part time then it takes as long as you want. In fact you can actually do it um, uh, via the web by distance education, so you don't even have to uh, show up here. Other than for the lab, we have some very well equipped labs and we are really now sitting in the, in the lab that the students would be using in this master's program. If there is any technology which is likely to take off in the next 10, 20, 30 years, that's going to be optics. Mm -hmm. Everything around us, as I said, is really using optics, telecommunications, uh, computing, uh, medicine, there are a lot of, lot of optical components going into various medical uh, technologies. So I really can't guarantee anything, but what I can say is that most of the students who have graduated from here, if I, if I could say maybe all of them, got uh, jobs uh, either in optics or, or optics related areas. This DVD presents just a small fraction of the research that we do in the University of New South Wales School of Physics. Areas that we haven't touched on at all 